Hell, the steak is shake. And guess who there? She there. And she was talking about she want to fight me. Ooh, ooh. Like, gee, we could just go in the bathroom. We can go to the parking lot. If you really about this fighting life, please hit me. Now you should follow suit and just get to the back. People gonna talk either good or it's bad. I see people gonna talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back to another episode of The Empress King Show. Ugh, okay, so this segment is called What Really Blows Me. So my auntie, she runs this rec league or whatever for guys that aren't necessarily in school anymore, but they still have a passion and love for basketball. They, you know, have tournaments or whatever. So they had their end of the season tournament the other day. So I get there, imagine, it's just a community league. Nobody really goes to these games unless they know the people that are playing or they just interested in basketball, but it's not something that's really like broadcasted around the, the neighborhood for real so it was very empty there was this little empty table with a rolling seat so i go sit in my own little corner over here then this old mean lady she walk in she low key got an attitude so she walked past looked me up and down so in my mind i'm already thinking i'm like oh is this her seat or something like maybe i should get up so she like you know it's a two dollar charge for everybody that come in here it's a two dollar charge why you walk straight up to me and tell me about this imaginary two three dollar charge but what really blew me was the fact that she just looked at me up and down didn't even speak hey you know it was just the way that she talked to me first of all old lady i give you five dollars baby i ain't worried about it come on now well i'm here for my auntie to film this so i'm not paying you nothing so then she was like oh you with lisa i'm yeah and then she walk around and she goes where's my chair but what really blew me was you know I'm sitting in your chair. And that's probably why you had an attitude with me in the first place. I ain't know I was sitting in your chair, shorty. If this your spot, just say that. I was like, oh, is this your spot? Clearly you making a big deal. She was like, yeah, you mad if I sit there? I was like, nah, you good. And I walked to the bleachers like, I respect all my elders because I was raised to respect my elders. But you don't need to be talking to me crazy like that. Another thing that blows me. So let me tell you about something. So one time I was dating this dude, right? He had an ex-girlfriend that was crazy, G. She was crazy. So I go to Steak and Shake, and guess who there? She there. So I'm like, oh, well look who it is. I'm not no fighter, I ain't never fought before, but if you want to swing, I'm going to defend myself. And she was talking about she want to fight me, woo -woo. So we sitting there, she at the other table with all her friends, just talking, talking, talking. She talking loud so that I can hear her, and she talking about me. She just going off, she literally causing a scene. I was about to walk over to her table and say like, look, is there a problem? But then I was like, no, let's not cause a scene. I'm hungry, I ain't even get my burger yet. She was doing all this talking, I'm like, gee, we could just go in the bathroom, we can go to the parking lot. If you really about this fighting life, please hit me, please hit me. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom instead. She clearly wants to see me. So I go to the bathroom and then she, sure enough, walks in the bathroom. Now I'm in the stall, so I hear her walk in. She's still talking. Ooh, I'm like, okay, cool. I come out the stall and I'm washing my hands. She had went in the stall. So then she opened the stall, look at me, close the stall, and then walks out. So now we arguing back and forth. I'm low key like, is we gonna fight or are we not? Like you keep talking about you wanna fight me, but I'm still untouched. I'm still untouched. What really blew me was she kept talking, but no hands were being thrown. I'm confused. I thought you wanted to fight. There be a lot of people in these suburban areas that be acting like they so huff and puff and tough, like they from the city, but they not. I'm not trying to act like I'm something I'm not. I'm not trying to walk around acting like I gang bang and I shoot people. I'm not about that. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm about that. But what I am not is a lame. What I am not is a goofy. So if you run around talking about you gonna fight me, we can do it. Well, I ain't scary. We can throw hands if that's what you really need to do. Touch me then. Sweetie, she going off, she going off, she going off. Oh my God. So at this point, I'm getting real tired of it. But what really blew me was, she's not even really trying to fight. She is not about it. So I stepped toward her, I'm like, okay, so what's up? She instantly stepped back and was like, well, da da da. I was like, all right, well, you're not on anything, so I'm just gonna go enjoy my food. You have a great day. She said, you do the same. Then she gonna sit down at her table, keep talking loud again, and then she left on Twitter talking about Keena not making no noise with all the mute horns. Girl, hold on, it's Jeremy, y'all. I'm in the middle of filming. You wanna be on camera? Look, guys, look who it is. What up, peoples? What up, fans? What's going on, man? Okay, I'm gonna call you back in like 15 minutes. All right. Huh. So that's what blows me. Tune in for the next segment of what really blows me.